Venus for a long time has been believed to support life. However, its bright and hellish atmosphere seems the opposite of the conditions on Earth. How then is it possible that the planet might have been inhabited? The fact that it was named after the goddess of love, beauty, and fertility might account for something, right? The answer is in the affirmative. Advance in scientific research and new computer simulations revealed that Venus had all the necessary conditions for inhabitation like Earth more than a billion years ago. The big question, however, is how did it get so different from planet Earth? The planet is basically dried out, scorching hot, and covered in toxic clouds. It has no water vapor. Carbon dioxide in its atmosphere is approximately 90 times that of Earth, and temperatures rise up to 864 degrees Fahrenheit. Two theories by NASA try to explain how Venus evolved to be a hellish planet that we know today and how life may have been supported despite its proximity to the sun. The scientists use tools that model climate change on Earth to study the climate on Venus. The first theory postulates that Venus formed out of the same materials as Earth but followed a different evolutionary path. Earth and Venus are similar in both size and density. Also, the fact that they formed close to each other is enough evidence that they may have formed from the same bulk material. The high prevalence of deuterium in Venus suggests that the planet had a substantial amount of water, maybe to the magnitude of an ocean. However, due to its closeness to the sun's heat, the planet's water evaporated. The ultraviolet rays from the sun broke apart the water's vapor molecules, freeing hydrogen into space. This resulted to carbon dioxide buildup in the atmosphere owing to lack of water. The ballooning cloud of carbon dioxide subsequently led to runaway greenhouse effect on the planet and created its present hellish conditions. There was also a greenhouse effect caused by water vapor. The high amount of water vapor in the atmosphere caused by the high temperatures formed an insulatory cloud that trapped excess heat from escaping. This is referred to as a positive feedback loop in the scientific circles and accounts for more global warming than CO2. But still, that does not explain how organisms survived in the scorching heat. The answer is simple. 80% of the sunlight that hits Venus is reflected back. Only 20% makes it through Venus's dense cloud cover. Were it not for the CO2 buildup, then Venus would have been a colder planet than Earth. This leads us to the next theory that supported life. Venus rotates at a significantly lower rate than Earth. Therefore, one Venus day is equivalent to 117 Earth days. Due to this slow rate of rotation, Venus's day side was exposed to the sun for more than two months. The hot conditions produced a cloud cover that resulted to rain and acted as a shield against the solar heating. The conditions in ancient Venus were actually much cooler than what we are experiencing on Earth today. With skies blackened by clouds of toxic sulfuric acid and temperatures hot enough to melt lead, the Earth's evil twin sister is a representation of what would happen to our planet if the calls for environmental changes are completely ignored. 